Today, Henry Farney throws us a curveball. This, the year is 1908, and Henry Farney paints an oil titled Rounded Up by God. One look tells you that this old boy isn't having a good day. In fact, it may well qualify as a finalist for the ultimate O, and we won't say it because this is a family museum, we'll say darn, moment. It's a scene of Indian and white conflict. Paintings such as this play to the late 19th century stereotype of Indians as savages. And that certainly was not a stereotype to which Farney held. And we're going to look and see if we can see how he paints that and then how Frederick Remington paints that kind of scene. This is a painting by Frederick Remington. And however, this is not the painting that's in the Rentschler collection that we'll later see in our series, Henry Farney, because one of the things that we didn't tell you is the series is called Henry Farney, but I guess we could have called it Henry Farney and one Frederick Remington. This Remington belongs to the Britain Museum and it was purchased by our patron Bradford Britain way back in the 1920s. And it's a very, very famous painting. It's one of two renditions of Remington's fight on the Little Bighorn. This is from the Indian perspective. And the thing that you notice about Remington's picture and portrayal of Indian and white conflict is there's just a cacophony of motion and firing and action in this painting. Whereas when we go and look at Henry Farney, it's much more subdued, it's a lot quieter, and at the moment, the intended target of all of the action is standing motionless. As you look at Farney's scene, the one thing that you notice is that at this moment, nobody's shooting at anybody. You know, you see the Indians riding around him. You see various really nicely painted poses of riders on those horses. You see a lot of spent shells that our subject has just fired and a number of arrows that have been fired at him. And if you look closely behind his head, you see what I think is smoke. And that could be where the chase originated from. You also see a beautifully depicted landscape and some marvelous painterly brush strokes in the area around the rider and his horse. <music> 